WA's Royal Flying Doctor Service is getting a major boost with two new multi-million dollar jets to treat sick patients in remote parts of our state. Cassandra Bain is in Broome, where one of these jets will be based. Cass, it arrived from Europe earlier today. Michael, the PC-24 touched down from Switzerland via Singapore just a few hours ago and it's a massive boost to the RFDS here in our state's north. The high-tech jet is fitted out with state-of-the-art medical equipment and will slash the time it takes for critically ill patients to get to hospital. From the Swiss Alps to Broome, this world-first aeromedical PC-24 jet will revolutionise rural health care. Built by Swiss aircraft manufacturer Pilatus for the Royal Flying Doctor Service, it's one of two new jets to be based in WA. The $26 million investment made possible by public donations and funding from Rio Tinto and the federal government. Flying at a top speed of 740 kilometres an hour, the jet will almost halve the time for long-haul critical patient transfers. This aircraft puts time on our side. It enables us to save lives um, by also being able to land on short runways and unsealed runways and in gravel dirt strips. The jet is also able to rescue more people at once with enough space to carry up to three stretched patients and two medical teams. It's just going to be a huge game changer for RFDS and patients in WA. We've got state-of-the-art equipment on, we've got ventilators, monitors, all the equipment you expect to find in an intensive care unit um, in a major hospital up there in the air giving care to the sickest patients. RFDS pilots say the jet's advanced technology is unlike any plane they've ever flown. They've undergone simulated training sessions in the United States. This aircraft with the uh, high thrust output of the engines versus the weight gives it a superior single engine performance. So when you take off on one engine, you are climbing at a rate much higher than an all-engine operating takeoff in a turboprop. Making the ride smoother and more comfortable for all on board. And there'll be little time for rest between journeys, with the PC-24 expected to be put straight to work. Every day, the RFDS responds to about 25 patients across the state, from as close to Perth as Rottnest Island and as far north as Kununurra. That's the equivalent of flying around the world 188 times each year. The most rewarding thing about being a Royal Flying Doctor Service pilot is at the end of each day, you know that you've made a difference to someone's life. And it may not be a successful outcome for the patient that you've carried, but the friends and family know that you tried. The second jet arrives in WA next month. And cast that plane will fly to Perth tomorrow. Yes, Michael, the jet will take off from Broome tomorrow morning and Nine News is lucky enough to be the first civilians on board. I'm told it will be a very quick trip to Perth, just under two and a half hours. Doctors and nurses will then begin practical training before going on a few test runs over the coming weeks. Michael? Cassie Bain reporting in Broome. Thanks for the update.